What's good with y'all, man? Day two of the exciting world of Houston, Texas. We just woke up, showered and everything. About to get the day started. So, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. Y'all just going to have to wait and see what we're going to do. H time. Bless you. Yo, in the comments below, tell me what this looked like to y'all. That nasty. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Mango. Water. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be back in just a minute to get y'all Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Notorious B.I.G. Tupac. They eat together again. <clears throat> <All right. clears throat> I'm not too. Mm. Anyway, we're up here. We're about to go look at the dolphins on this tour. I came down here because it was way too loud up there. And then it was, it was already hot, and my nephew, he's just got to be all over everybody. So I came down here to cool off a little bit and not listen to everybody's conversation about whatever, who else cares. You feel me? So hopefully, when we get on the thing, we can I can take pictures of the dolphins or whatever. And yeah. When I get done with that, I'm gonna put y'all back on. Captain's, Captain's Vlog, Stargate 456. Me and the crew are on the boat. Yeah. The water's green. She's gonna sit at Milan. I said, so I start. Let everybody know we do have ice cold drinks aboard. Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, and water for a dollar. If you guys want anything at all, let me know. All right. <laughs> Anyway, um, so now that I look at that water, I do think that water was um, clean. It was just, it's just ocean water. Water in the pool. Yeah. All right. All right, well, I can catch y'all back on when we in the middle of the ocean. It's supposed to be an hour long, but... They said, also said they're going to load us at 12.45 and we just got on here at 12 something. Alright, put you back on we get back. We also have cold drinks, water, coke, diet, coke, Sprite, and the cooper behind me on ice. They've now gone up to $5 a piece due to maritime law since we left the dock. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They're still a dollar. But now you've got to help yourself and hand me a dollar. I'm not going to be able to get it for you. We also have a restroom inside the boat. It's very small. It has no running water, so it is a number one only. <laughs> and if you use it, please put all paper products in the trash. Because you put them in the toilet, or you make a mess in the toilet, then the plumber has to deal with it. He's a grouchy fella. He's like, oh, I can't believe this. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Did you tell them? I'm like, yeah, I told them, man. They didn't listen. Oh, I don't believe you. Rubber, rubber, rubber. <laughs> By the way, I'm also the plumber. You make a mess in there, and I will talk to myself in a bad way. Probably another voice. All right, no standing on the seats out front or in the back. No sitting up on the rails or the stairs. You are welcome to put your knees in the seat, turn around, and hang on to the stairs. Do not throw anything in the water, and it is against the law to feed the dolphins. $10,000 fine, so I wouldn't do that if I were you. Wow. That's right. 
You got a couple of brown pelicans hanging out on the rocks over here, the Louisiana State Bird. Everybody around here likes to call them brown bombers because they dive bomb in the water to get their fish. I like to think of them as miniature pterodactyls myself. <laughs> the little blackbirds with a long neck are airing their feathers out. They're a type of loon known as the comrade. They can swim underwater 40 feet deep. That's a long ways. I don't care who you are. Behind the docks is Gallison's very own mosquito fleet of shrimp boats. They shrimp right here in the harbor and surrounding shallow waters. They bring their fresh catch to the two seafood markets and ten buildings there right there on the other side. My favorite Katie. She can go in there this afternoon and buy some shrimp. They were caught right here this morning. Don't get any pressure in that. Inshore and offshore fish as well. Right here on the right is the Ocean Star. It's a jacked up drilling platform that used to drill for oil in the Gulf of Mexico. It is now a museum you can take a tour of seven days a week. See what it's like to drill for oil offshore. They have a plethora of information in there you can read about drilling for oil. Take you two or three hours to read it all, matter of fact. And if reading's not your thing, they got cool stuff to look at too. Now, my wife, she'd be reading it all. I'd be done looking at everything, ready to go, waiting on her, going, come on, woman, let's go. Of course, I'd be thinking it, not saying it, I ain't done. Come on. <laughs> Banana! 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 Right here on the ride, it's affectionately known as the Banana Dock. Once a week, a ship, every Monday, the star leader comes in from South America, loaded down with tropical fruit and bananas. It takes 20 hours or so to offload and backload the empties. Of course, it only takes a few hours to get the tropical fruit off because it all comes in refrigerated Connex boxes stacked on top of the ship. But the rest of that time every week, the whole hull of the ship, plus these warehouses, are full of nothing but tons and tons and tons of bananas. So if you have purchased any tropical fruit or bananas, Anywhere in the United States with the Del Monte Brander sticker on it. It has to come right through this dock first to get there. Right here it goes. Now guys, what we are looking for here in the harbor this afternoon is Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. And they can hold their breath up to seven and a half minutes if they want to, which is about seven minutes longer than I can today, so I will need your help in spotting them. You cannot see dolphins on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, texting your besties, or playing on Snapchat. You have to be looking out in the water, and if you see a dorsal fin or you think you see a dolphin, I want you to point at it with your whole arm, just like this, and go, Woo! Dolphin, that way everybody knows what you're pointing at and where. Now keep in mind, y'all do not have to be quiet on this tour because we're not hunting wabbits. Uh, we're hunting dolphins. The louder you are, the more noise you make. We get next to some, the more they want to come up. See what y'all are making all that noise about. They're naturally curious that way. So we get next to some, y'all help me out and make a bunch of noise. Maybe they won't practice that seven and a half minute breath they got, all right? Now, they have been a little far and few between in the afternoons, but we just gotta hopefully find them. We gotta keep looking. Right here on the right, this blue vessel in the slip on my starboard side out my window is the Texas Responder. It is an oil spill response vessel. In the event of an oil spill, he will head out with a barge and several other vessels surrounding the oil spill with oil absorbent booms creating a containment area. They will then commence the sucking up the oil and water inside the containment area. They have a separation unit on board. They can separate the water from the oil, put the water back in the gulf, bring the oil in on a barge to be disposed of properly. Good news is he's just standing by. Better news is I've never seen him go to work. That's a good thing. The oil on our beaches, he's probably in there eating Doritos right now, watching TV get paid for it. Not a bad job, right? Mm -hmm. That is if you like Doritos, I guess. 
Now that ship's just renting dock space. They've been working on it for over a week now, so I'm not sure what all's going on. Because the ships that come to this dock look like a floating parking garage with a big ramp on it, because that's pretty much what they are. They import brand new BMWs and Mini Coopers to this dock on the right. And all that heavy equipment made by Caterpillar, Komatsu, Volvo, Pink Belt, John Deere, and Case, just to name a few. And they export anything they can push, shove, drag, roll, or drive on those ships going all over the world. Their largest export, however, is used cars going to Africa. Apparently, Africa's roads are so bad, they're in the market for any and all used cars they get their hands on. Run it or not, they'll take them all as they got good parts. Now, the building behind this dock on the right is John C. Lee Hospital, University of Texas Medical Branch, better known as UTMB Health Center. It is the oldest hospital west of the Mississippi, and they have a Shriners Children's Burn Hospital on the other side attached to it as well. And in front of us here coming up is Galveston Yacht Base and home to a lot of nice fishing yachts, sailboats, liveaboards, pleasure boats, just about every other kind of boat you can think of. <clears throat> in the building with the seats horse on it, they have racks and racks of boats and dry storage. They pick them up with a big forklift right out of the water and stick them on the rack. I've seen them pick up boats 40 feet long with four motors on the back and 10 feet long with one motor. So they'll store your boat in there as well if you like. You just give them a call when you're coming down. They'll pull your boat off the rack, have it in the water waiting for you for a small nominal fee, I'm sure. Okay, maybe not small, but definitely a fee, I'm sure of that, all right? <laughs> and the back there, you see one? Yep, right there on my left. Woo! A watermelon. I don't see nothing. Dang, it went back down. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Go get that watermelon for you. Come here, Flipper. Yeah. 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 Come on now. Yeah. There's two. There's two. Yeah. There's a few up here. Yeah, there is. Here, right here in the front. Straight ahead. Woo! There he is. Try to get him on the right for you guys on the right. Woo! Y'all call him up. Woo! 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 Oh, that's cool. Coming in too. What do you need 